On today's episode, we try melon cream soda from Japan. Hey everyone, welcome back to Obscure Cola, coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Japan being the king of random obscure soft drinks, you know I'm going nuts here. This one is from Asahi, and it's called Melon Cream Soda, in English and in Japanese. Uh, and it's actually not like a cream soda, it's actually a melon soda ice cream float, at least from the picture. And it says here, uh, vanilla ice. In other words, like vanilla ice cream. Shuryong is the Chinese word. So basically like used in, uses, I guess uses vanilla ice cream or as used in vanilla ice cream. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Uh, but anyway, this is what it is. Melon soda, super popular in Japan for some reason. Not super popular, but it's popular. Like they have it in fountain drinks and stuff. And uh, especially like at the, uh, what they call family restaurants, which is like a Denny's where they have like a all you can drink bar. Always got the melon soda. I always enjoy it. So anyhow, you know I had to get this one. It apparently has 1% actual juice as well. So I don't know, some melons I assume uh, contributed to this, not all chemicals. So uh, let's give it a try. And so yeah, is it cream soda? Is it melon soda with ice cream flavor? I've actually done one Coke float drink from here in Japan. Um, it's, been, it's been a while, pretty good carbonation. I don't know if I shook it up or not, but basically bubbled up. I can smell the melon. I can kind of smell the, the vanilla. So let's give it a try. Um, I can taste the melon. Like it actually, for a melon soda, it tastes like actually like, you know, like there's real melon in here. Um, so better than the average melon soda. Uh, do I taste the ice cream? I'm not sure. I guess I do. It take yeah. I would say more like cream soda than ice cream, straight up ice cream or vanilla. So I can taste. This is a case where like maybe the picture is the one lying and the title is more accurate because I can taste melon and I can taste cream soda on top, um, as opposed to the float. So yeah. What else can I say about this? Um, interestingly enough. Uh, the nutritional information, I actually had to figure this out. So in Hong Kong, they put the importation sticker where everything's written in English. On the Japanese drinks you buy in Japan, it's written in Japanese. And this is the Japanese kind of, I guess, government mandated nutritional information. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm guessing you can't read it as well as I can't read it because I, I can read it. I just don't know what all these terms are. But basically, I had to look it up. And so this one, I guessed it was related to the sugar because the percentage is about right but it actually is the carbohydrates and this one says it's 6.5 grams and pretty much on all sodas all of the carbohydrates in the drink come from sugar because it's basically sugar water with some you know whatever some added flavorings um, but in this case uh, it's 6.5 and just to keep that in context on a coke I actually double checked on a US coke it's 10.8 grams or so is um, give or take depends on the size of the can and obviously um, but per 100 milliliters is 10.8 and um, that is also 100% of the carbohydrates is from sugar so in this case it's actually significantly less so like 40% less sugar than a coke so um, that's actually pretty good to put things in context uh, one of my favorite drinks in Hong Kong is the VLT Vita Lemon Tea and that is a whopping like 13 grams per 100 milliliters and some of the ones I've done on this channel I think there's worst was like 14 or so so this is actually relatively healthy despite what you see in this picture right this guy is not that sugary or maybe the ice cream is low fat ice cream I don't know what it is so anyway ah I think I figured it out so way down on the label after the vanilla flavoring and some other powder or something something it actually says there is aspartame and uh, I see ACE K. So acephaline K. And that is why the sugar is low because there is in fact at least one, if not two, or perhaps three, definitely two or three different artificial sweeteners in here. 
and they're hiding it way down there. So that's why it tastes sweet, but it actually is not that much sugar. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, as you guys may know, I really detest artificial sweeteners. And if I didn't even really notice it, that means it's pretty well hidden. It's, it's mixed well or, or it's, it's a low concentration. So it doesn't really taste. The, a the aftertaste is what I usually detect and I can't really feel it here. Maybe if I drank more, I could. But so far, actually pretty well hidden. So um, yeah, I guess I can't complain too much if I didn't even notice it was there until I checked the label. So for my final verdict for the Melon Cream Soda by Asahi, I'm going to have to think of something stupid to say. So I'm going to say um, Melon Cream-tastic, artificially so. Okay, well, whatever that means, right? Please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing and definitely check out our other videos. I've got a ton of stuff I've done on my trip here to Japan. I've got the lemon, where's it? The lemon Coke. Can you see it? Lemon Coke. No, Lime Coke. I already forgot what it is already. Um, I've got that one I already did. I've got this guy I haven't done yet, the J Cola. Um, bet you never heard of J Cola by Pepsi. I've got the Pepsi's Pepsi Special Zero, which is basically diet, so I'm not gonna like that one. Uh, and then I got like not one but two different yogurt sodas. Okay, what's that gonna taste like? Who knows? Okay, that's it for today. See you guys later, and I'm sure I'll do even more videos tomorrow before I fly out. See you. Bye. Not two, not three, but four, count on four, special heritage edition bottles from Coca-Cola. So this is a...